Creative East London, who's it for and who cares? That where the difference between who the attenders are or who the audience is, who the participants are, um, and who the actual makers are, is, is wonderfully blurred. I think people want stuff that is provocative, surprising, that is going to speak to them, that's going to take them somewhere that they haven't thought of before. They don't want to be patronised. Personally, I think the things that I've been most interested in seeing are the things that have been a bit rough around the edges. How do you know what your audience wants? Yeah, no, I ask myself what can the building offer and what can the, what can the building offer uh, and the people who work in the building and, who, and the artists who work in the building and the artists that come to the building, what can that do for them? I think that my role is to inspire that space rather than to necessarily anticipate what uh, people will want what people will need, because you, you hope to please as many people as possible. You hope that lots of people enjoy it, but then sometimes they don't. Gravity's taking its toll, so we take cars on Tesco's every little <laughs> We did um, a piece with the Stratford Circus called Varmints. I don't think I don't think we did it quite right. We're going to develop it better next year. But 92% of the people that came to see the show at Stratford Circus hadn't been before. That was miles higher than any other theatre because they developed the relationships with people. All of a sudden, I've got dementia, but got on to collect my pension and my hunger. Oh, it's just too much to mention. Crowning Glory, which is the next show, yeah. will predominantly play to a black a black British female audience. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of that. Yeah. I'm very proud it's going to be that kind of audience coming to see that kind of show. How far does box ticking exercises come into this? So, for example, people will look at a particular group uh, in all the so-called diversity strands. Forgive me, we're, we're, the language is too simplistic. There, there's, there's a whole load of, of complex layers that makes up, um, uh, you know, a, a, a person who might want to participate in a piece of culture or who might want to you know de develop a sort of interest or enthusiasm for a creative industry and we're not just talking about a theater we're talking about fashion about pop music about architecture we're, we're talking about a whole range of creative industries here which are in, you know incredibly uh, dynamic in the yeah. way in which but, they but it's work. amazing all of what you said is true Ruth and what other people have said here but it's amazing wherever you go in London but particularly in poorer areas people complain time and again and with passion with fervor and in the end people say this isn't for us we don't feel part of this we're gonna react what I feel about that is that participation isn't just about being invited to come along and take part or feeling like something belongs to you but it's also about feeling like you've got the right and the tools and the ability to critically engage and comment on what you're seeing and experiencing, whatever it is. <laughs>